This week on the Rutgers Basketball Story, we find out what it means to be a Rutgers student athlete. We get to know Coach Eddie Jordan and senior guard Miles Mack. And we take a look at the series this year between Rutgers and Penn State. Good. We have 40 minutes. 40 minutes. To show them. To show them. What we represent. What we sacrifice. God. There you go. How hard we work. 40 minutes. To show them how big and how great we can be. 40 minutes to make every possession. It's going right to the lane. He puts it. How can it? Every play. Every cheer. That was all desire. Every shot. A three. It's gone. Make them count. 40 minutes. Make, make them, them count. count. Because it's 40 minutes. We will never have a quick game. Come on in, Greg. How you doing? Good, good. We have a game tomorrow night. We really don't have till midnight, so make sure that you get it turned in prior to shoot around. Okay? Um, everyone's got to do 90 minutes of study hall on Thursday and Friday of this week. Um, Friday just has to be done by noon. Randy, um, I would say a blessing. Being a former Big Ten student athlete myself, I definitely think I bring the guys some perspective. You know, without her, a lot of us would, would be lost. I know, me personally, I was. She's the best academic advisor in the world. One of the emphasis as we move into the Big Ten is academics. We've developed a culture um, that academics are important. Life is busy. Uh, you got school. You got still have to keep up with school. Like right now, we still st try to study for finals and still stay focused on games and trying to win games and stuff like that. So it's all about time management. Bounce pass down low. Lewis, and he fakes his man out and then lays it in. Good move by Greg Lewis. If you're not serious about your academic body of work, you won't be a good fit for us. It's important not only from our board of governors and from our president. But it's important to our coaches and to your teammates that you care about your academic body of work. The college game is different than the pro game. Uh, the pro game is just basketball. The college game is they have academics, they have study halls. There's just an expectation that we're going to compete on the court and in the classroom as well. I work with the guys almost on a daily basis uh, with time management, making sure that they know where they need to be, when they need to be there. We have a lot of things to do, like you're going to travel, practice, lifting, watch film, tutoring. They might come here and think that, man, I just, I don't know if I passed that test. I mean, so you gotta take those things into consideration. You know, obviously that's, you know, more important. You're, you're a student athlete first. The fact that the university is so revolutionary in so much of its work, it asks and expects of its athletic department to equally be revolutionary and best in class and truly set a standard for excellence. We throw that word around a lot, but on the Rutgers campus, there's a standard of excellence that changes the world. We have 100% graduation rate for students who stay here for four years. Uh, I was about to give up. <laughs> I was about to give up, but uh, she pushed me and helped me to be the better student. Without her help, I don't think that I would have gotten this far just because of um, not understanding what, uh, what it took to pass a college class. She, she's a second mother, a mother away from home for all these guys. They have me, who has 14 years of experience working with these young men, and Coach Jordan and his staff, who are very supportive of their endeavors in the classroom. Our staff is wonderful. Um, we all have fun, working hard is what we like to say. 
Academics doesn't stop just because we get to go to Wisconsin or Penn State or any other Big Ten school. There's still business to take care of even though we're traveling and playing and the guys know that and the coaches know that and they give us the necessary time to still take care of business even though we're on the road. It is an exceptional opportunity to live out your dreams at truly the highest level beyond what you could have ever imagined. And so when you come here, you're going to have to make a special effort. And when you accomplish it, it will be an extraordinary thing. I just want to thank Randy for uh, everything she's done for the team. What would I say to thank Randy? Thank you. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's about it because um, she understands. You know, I, I tell her all the time that um, I'm really thankful for the um, sacrifices that she makes. I, I say it to her all the time. And um, I, would, I say it again. Thank you, Randy. Gets in the passing lane. is playing inspired here in the second half. Stay alert, stay alert. Wise, intelligent, poised. He's somebody that you want to go into battle with every day. He played in the NBA, and he coached there. Uh, I would say he's a professional, uh, classy guy. He's a funny guy, humble, he's a good teacher. Stern, confident, reasonable. Mentor and a leader. Let's get in good habits now in April, and they'll be automatic in November. Coach Jordan is awesome. He is one of the most laid back, yet intense guys you'll meet. Kill it, kill it, good job, here we go. He understands and he, um, he could actually give us advice on, um, on certain things because he's been through it before. And it helps that um, he went to Rutgers, so he kind of understands the atmosphere. And they're going to storm the court here at the right. You know, he was a player at Rutgers. You know, he's one of the best players in Rutgers basketball history. The success he, he's had in the national tournament, you know, that that's a dream for all of us, you know, to play in the tournament. Those dreams that we have, he lived them, so we know that any advice, any experience he has, he could just pour it on us. But it's got to be in your heart. It's got to be in your mind. He coached some teams in the NBA. He played in the NBA as well. He played with a lot of greats, with like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Magic Johnson, our very own coach, Michael Corman. We were teammates uh, in the pros. I worked with Eddie for a lot of years, uh, both assistants in New Jersey. Everything I know about coaching, I learned from Eddie. Square your body up to the basket, that's right. Say yes, coach. You're right, coach. Kobe Bryant, I mean, who wouldn't want to learn from one of the best in the game today? Probably the hardest worker he's ever seen. He's been through it all. Yeah, I love the college game. I've always wanted to coach Rutgers. He's demanding, but he's, he also has the quality of making people around him very comfortable. How you doing, man? Yeah, how you? yeah, I'm good. Being somebody that we can come and talk to, not always being harsh on us or, or down on us, but being able to, to understand and explain things to us. You mean shooting at the top as you get to the top, not when you get to the top. He taught us, like, uh, we are brothers, we are family, so we need to take care of each other. One, two, three. Right, right. go three, y'all. Effort and harmony, meaning hard work, Great work ethic and knowing how to get along. Corner three, God! Well, it's all, it was all about harmony and effort. It's, that's sort of one of our mantras that if you understand your teammates and you're willing to help your teammates first before you help yourself, then you'll create harmony within the team. Great patience. Matt waited for Jack. Uh, unselfish play, extra pass. Um, encouraging each other, happy for your teammates' success, and ultimately that will help you as an individual and obviously help your team. He's, he's composed 100% of the time. You know, he never gets too rattled. You compete with composure, and as much as emotions run through um, a team and a season. He has played really well against Sam Decker. He's been, he's been patient this time in the last two years. Patience, 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 and, and I've learned that patience isn't, um, okay, you held on enough, it's time to give up. Patience is you hold on longer when it's time to give up. Switch. 
Warriors did not make a three-pointer in the first half. Back straight on three, got it! You'd be surprised how things will develop for your team, for life situations. You have to work hard and you have to make your luck. He's still on the floor with three personal fouls. Get to the passing lane. I'm happy, I'm proud of them. And we just gotta make sure that we win with class and that we continue to get better. And you know how much it means to him to win at his alma mater, Rutgers University. For him to come back and help us kids that you know that's trying to make it to the NBA, it's very um, impressive. Well, I believe that Eddie Jordan is the perfect architect and engineer to take us into the Big Ten and to make the culture shift that we needed to make to get nationally competitive, not only on the court, but off the court. And, you know, Rutgers is an outstanding institution, 33rd ranked institution in the world. It's about having fun, working hard, being disciplined, and keep the pace. Eddie, our distinguished alumni and a former pro coach, can communicate that message more authentically and more genuinely than probably anybody could on Rutgers' behalf, and so we're thrilled that he's our head coach. Believe in each other, believe in the program, believe in what we're doing, and go out and do it right. Basketball is one thing, but there is life behind the basketball. So that's something I learned from him. He holds a lot of us together and put us on the right path to be successful. Bring it all out. Rutgers on three. Family on three. One, two, three. Rutgers, Rutgers family. family. Let's go, baby. Success isn't always what people write about or what the numbers may say. Success is working hard, doing the best you can, and finding some success in life and with people. Describe Miles. Flashy. Shooter. Loyal. Gentleman. You got the shake and the bake. Oh, will sacrifice himself for his teammates. Will sacrifice himself to win a game. Miles Mack for the win. He hit it. Rutgers win. Miles Mack gives the Scarlet Knights a 60-58 win with a three-pointer at the buzzer. So I love his development as far as doing things you have to do to help your team win. He puts an awful lot of the responsibility on his scoring guard, Miles Mack. A lot of defenders, it's, it's hard to guard him. It's hard to guard him. He's so small. Whenever you think you got him trapped, he's, he's going right past you. Probably one of the best shooters that I've ever came across. Two-point game, one minute to play. Miles does it all for us. I like playing with him because he like sees the whole court and every shot he takes, it seems like it's like the perfect shot. And here's Matt, three-pointer good, his second of the second half. The kind of guy is Miles. Miles is exciting. He's a lot in one. You know, I, I, it's hard to um, describe in a, in, in a couple of words. Miles is incredible. Uh, he, he's, he's loyal, he's competitive, he's been through a lot, uh, and, and he's never wavered from what he wanted this place to be and what he wanted to become. So I, I, I can't think of anyone I have more respect for and admiration for than Miles. Miles Mack is about as competitive as a young man or young player you'll ever see. Um, small in stature, but huge in heart. Uh, he's been a pleasure to coach, and I'm just glad he's on our side. When Miles graduates in May, uh, this program definitely has some big shoes to fill. He's a big brother. 
you know, every time, every time he sees me, he always asks me, yo, Mike, you good, you need anything? Um, is there anything I can, I can help you with? Especially when on the court, like when I'm down or when I don't figure something out, he always comes up to me and tells me what I need to do. You know, that's what a big brother does to a little brother. I'm a walk tall, a car four. Miles going right to the lane. Puts it up and in with the left hand. Congratulations to Miles Mack. 1,000 points. And this place is erupting. They ain't believe in us. They believe in us now. Let's go. Let's go. Back on January 3rd, Rutgers hosted Penn State as they kicked off their 2015 slate. It turned out to be an historic night for the RU basketball program. Kadeem has it taken away, but he gets it back, gives it to Mack. He's got an open three and connects from straight on. That night, it was a blend of the old and the new, which made a bold statement for now and the future. Got to make your free throws. Newville got rejected by Lewis. Kadeem Jack spearheaded a supreme effort by the Scarlet Knights on both ends of the floor. Now he spins in traffic and puts it up and in. Kadeem Jack with a power move. Baseline right, backing in on Donovan Jack. Jump stop, leaning in, draws the contact. Daniels cutting around, pulls up left elbow, kicks it back out. Mack a three is good. Daniels to the rim and he lays it in. Knifing through, first ever Big Ten Conference victory. 50 to 46. Rutgers wowed their fans and vowed to make more magic. Huge win for Rutgers, first Big Ten win, and they did it on their defense. As it goes in the Big Ten, the road is a difficult challenge. Still, when Rutgers went to Penn State less than a month later, they were supremely confident. It was high noon on a Saturday in State College. Here's Coney feeding the post. Greg Lewis turns around, jump shot. And State's knocked down a couple of threes. Tied at six. Driving, Jack. Got it, and one. Thanks to Miles Mack and company, the Knights got off to a great start in a hostile environment. Miles Mack drives for his first basket. Jack, left hand, sky hook, falling away. With leadership and stellar execution from their seniors, RU was finding their way. For two. Got it. State here in the first half. They notice some confidence starting to emerge here, and there's another. The Scarlet Knights lost their lead quickly, but not their tenacity. Daniels the handoff to Jack, and he slams it down. Kadeem Jack became a one-man show with 19 points. Newbill finds Thorpe in the corner for three. Taylor again. So the Nittany Lions answered in a rivalry that should be compelling for years to come. 